And that's not the only fight uh, in the Capitol. I'll talk about a face-off. Republican Georgia Representative Tom Price challenged President Obama on health care while in front of a national audience. Take a listen. What should we tell our constituents who know that Republicans have offered positive solutions to the challenges that Americans face and yet continue to hear out of the administration that we've offered nothing? Tom, I, uh, look, I, I have to say that on the, let's, let's just take the health care debate. And, and it's probably not constructive for us to try to debate a particular bill. Uh, that this isn't the venue to do it. Um, but if you say we can offer coverage for all Americans and it won't cost a penny, that's just not true. You, you can't structure a bill where suddenly 30 million people have coverage and it costs nothing. Uh, Congressman Price, who himself is a physician, joins me live from Washington. First, let me thank you very much for being here this evening, Congressman. Hey, Brendan. Great to be with you. Thank you so much. It's good to see you. Were you satisfied with the president's response? Well, the president didn't answer my question. What my question was <laughs> is what are we to tell our constituents when they know mm -hmm. that we've offered positive solutions, and yet the administration, people in the administration continue to say that Republicans have offered nothing. So. The first point is, is that he didn't answer the question. The second point is, is that I never said it wouldn't cost a penny. What I said is that we could do it without raising taxes. And it's a significant difference between the two. Because if we make health care a priority in our nation, which we should, then we can make, put in place the changes that will allow coverage for everybody, solve the insurance challenges, have appropriate lawsuit abuse reform. And you can do that taking money that you're spending elsewhere and spending it on health care, which ought to be a priority. What do you like about the president's health care reform plan, if anything? Well, I think the president has appropriately uh, identified that there are some health and wellness activities that need to be put in place, that uh, there's some health information technology that we can incentivize. Uh, I think the fact that he has brought the issue to the fore is appropriate because everybody believes that the status quo is unacceptable. But nobody, uh, that on our side of the aisle at least, and the vast majority of the American people, as evidenced by uh, elections in Virginia, New Jersey, and Massachusetts <laughs> most recently, uh, believe that we ought to allow the government to increase its intervention into the practice of medicine. That's what we don't believe. But you can fix these challenges without putting the government in charge. We couldn't see it on camera, but it appeared that you had a heated exchange with the president. Can you tell us what happened there? Well, it, no, it wasn't heated. It was just trying to correct the record. And, and, and again, what I had asked was, goodness gracious, Mr. President, we hear all sorts of things out of the administration that, that would lead people on the street to believe that Republicans aren't offering anything. Well, you know, Mr. President, and my constituents know that we have offered positive solutions to all of the challenges, whether it's health care or the economy or jobs or energy. Uh, yet we can we continue to hear that the administration says Republicans don't offer anything. What would you have us tell our constituents? Right. Congressman, very quickly, yes or no? Will there be health care reform this year? I think we've got to do something. I sure hope so, but I hope it's a positive move, not a government takeover. All right, Congressman Tom Price, thanks very much. Again, appreciate it. Thanks, Brenda. Appreciate your time.